It's Friday, April 30th, and let's go with the week update. You're listening to Fight Knows About Everything, a Night Shift Radio original. For more information, visit nightshiftradio.com. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Fight, and welcome to Fight Knows About Everything. So first off, I want to thank you all for everyone listening on your podcast player of choice. Thank you very much for subscribing and following. And for those on Apple Podcasts, thank you very much for leaving a rating and review. It's super easy. Just click that five star and say, hey, this guy's cool, and I love his long hair or something, or maybe he should cut it. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, Other than that, for those of you watching on YouTube, again, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos drop. I drop three new videos a week for Fight Knows About Everything, and the Never Heard of It podcast drops two videos a week, one on Thursday and one on Sunday, the full episode. But tomorrow, that would be May 1st, uh, Left of the Dial Live, our uh, partner uh, YouTube channel, has a brand new live session with Kaylee Goldsworth. Um, uh, absolutely amazing. Kaylee Goldsworth is, is, a, is a fantastic uh, artist, and she is performing uh, tomorrow uh, at the Left of the, Di- uh, Left of the Dial Live studio. Um, so at the end of this video, there'll be a little link for you to click over to that YouTube channel. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, more specifically subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you can watch the live show on April, uh, May 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. Live show for free. It's awesome. So live music is is back and it's digital. Uh, other than that, you know, of course, for more information on all the happenings around the Night Shift Media Group, don't forget to sign up for our newsletter. There is a link down below. And if you guys just can't get enough of me, I stream on Twitch Monday through Friday uh, during the day. You can find me most of the time, anytime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern time uh, on twitch.tv slash. Michael fight. So this is a short news week. So let's go ahead and kick right into it. So the magazine Hollywood Life has recently reported from the set of Being the Ricardos, an Aaron Sorkin-led biopic on Lucille Ball. The film also stars Javier Bardem as Ricky Ricardo. The film takes place spanning one week from a table read on Monday of their revolutionary show to audience filming on Friday, said to be loaded with drama and potential career and marriage ending events. The article is causing a little bit of controversy, though, as it claims Nicole Kidman, who is playing Lucille Ball, is a spitting image of the late comedian, which... Sure, if your only point of reference was this statue of Lucille Ball that was erected in her hometown. Yeah, spot on. Uh, President Biden delivered his first address to joint so- uh, session of Congress after his 100 days. Among the many issues raised, he acknowledged the 200 uh, million plus uh, doses of of the various COVID vaccines. Uh, he addresses concerns over lack of gun control. He talks about his new uh, American family plan, um, which talks about payments uh, to uh, direct payments to families, specifically those with kids. It talks about feeding kids. Um, it talks about health programs, free p- uh, pre-K, um, and it talks about uh, free community college all by uh, uh, being paid for by raising the corporate tax, um, raising taxes on on those making over $1 million uh, a year, um, and a few other things all based on basically taxing the rich, all the things that people have been getting around. Um, so, you know, and the big ones were obviously gun control, but the rare move for most politicians, he declared an advocate to trans people, uh, specifically trans youth stating, I've got your back. Uh, the historic address is, of course, receiving criticism from the right, from members like Kevin McCarthy and and Ted Cruz. Cruz even stating, I don't know, I just sort of miss it when the president would accuse my dad of murder and call my wife ugly. You know, the good old days. So Gwyneth (laughs) Gwyneth Paltrow's goop will be setting sail again, as well as her cruise line gross. The vagina-scented candle and pseudoscience peddler will begin uh, her famous goop cruise again after being put on hold during the pandemic. The cruise, which is an 11-day jaunt around the Bahamas, is set to bring together the goop lifestyle with meal kits, products, and fashion, all inspired by Paltrow's magazine, Goop. It's called Goop. Can, Can we address that, please? Can we address the fact that it's called Goop? Anyways, for more stories and all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow. And for more information on this show and the many others, please visit nightshiftradio.com. Thanks a lot for joining me, everyone. And we will see you on...